Welcome back. This is 7 National News and in our top business story, the average property prices in Dubai showed no decline in November this year, according to the latest report, registering 98 index points, similar to the previous two months. That's the first time the residential market has registered no effective monthly change since March 2014. The November value strap price index for Dubai's residential market showed that on average there was no monthly change in values across 26 areas for apartments and villas. Compared to a 100-point base in January 2014, the Dubai villa market registered 97.1 points in November and the apartment market 98.6 points, both similar to September and October. The November index also revealed price-to-rent ratios of 19 years for villas and 13 years for apartments in Dubai, and that property prices in the Emirates have declined by more than 10% over the past year, as investor interest has fallen, adding that, year, that next year may witness a plateau in prices. It also added that Dubai's residential market anticipates a total supply of 18,000 apartments and 3,770 villas this year. Emirates Airline has announced that it will enforce its Airbus A380s to more destinations across its network in 2016. The Dubai carrier said that Birmingham will be added to the list of A380 destinations on March the 27th next year, as well as Prague and Taipei on the 1st of May, making it the only airline to operate a scheduled A380 service from each of the destinations. Barcelona will also be served with a second daily A380 service from June the 1st. Thierry Antonori, the executive vice president and chief commercial officer of Emirates, was quoted saying that deploying larger capacity aircraft, such as the A380, helps us to efficiently meet growing passenger demand in these markets, contribute to tourism development and also enhance customer choice and options. And over in the capital, Etihad Airways will deploy the Boeing 787 Dreamliner on five routes next year and is expecting to receive 66 Dreamliners over the coming years. Starting from May 2016, Etihad will deploy the 787s to Dusseldorf, Perth, Shanghai, Istanbul and Johannesburg. And it already flies five to Brisbane, Washington, Singapore and Zurich from Abu Dhabi. The GCC food service market is set to be worth 24.5 billion US dollars in 2018. That's according to the latest report, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 6.8%. A report issued by investment firm Al Massar Capital revealed that the service market was worth 18.8 billion US dollars in 2014, with Saudi Arabia leading the region with total food service sales of 8.9 billion US dollars. The UAE was the second largest with total sales of 5.3 billion US dollars, generating a 28% share in the region, followed by Kuwait at 1.9 billion US dollars, Qatar 1.3 billion, Oman 1.1 billion and then Bahrain at 0.4 billion. The fast food segment or quick service restaurants accounted for 58.2% or 10.9 billion US dollars of the GCC food service market in 2014, followed by full service restaurants at 31.5% or 5.9 billion US dollars while the cafe and bakery segment accounted for 10.3% or 1.9 billion. Officials added that a rising population is one of the key drivers of food consumption, as well as an increase in tourists to the GCC.